right before we start this video is not an explore video if you want to see the explore of this location watch the video link below in the description this is a video where we're literally chopping back and forth between cameras to show which cameras are good at night which cameras are in focus which cameras stay level so if you're not interested in a side-by-side -side comparison video which is what this is tune away now and watch another video otherwise if you want to see what the quality is compared side by side this is the video for you hello Stephen Bob here we're down in uh, Solent near the hovercraft museum Sh shouldn't talk about that should we hovercraft museum but yeah we're going to be going somewhere very close to the hovercraft museum uh, and anyway I'm here with uh, exploring within and we're going to be checking out uh, checking out with Alex and uh, Pompey, Pompey Cod, from uh, just Pom Pompey, Pompey, yeah, Pompey, yeah. Sorry, there's a few of them, bloody weird names. So uh, just checking out the GoPro. So there's the Isle of Wight over there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you can, that's the Isle of Wight. So let's get this on my head and let's see what the stability is like. And uh, just overall general, there's a there's a slapper here on the side of the road. I think she wants twenty quid, look. Twenty pound, twenty pound. 20 pound, 20 pound. She wants 20 pound. She wants 20 pound. But if I give her 20 pound, will she put down? <laughs> Can you see him? Yeah. It's a bit cold for having a t shirt on. Having a t shirt on. Having a t shirt on. It's a bit cold for having a t shirt on. Yo. Yay. How are you doing? All right, Daddy. Nice How are you doing? Okay. Nice to, nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. Nice to be blurred, man. Just to be a ball like. Yeah. Well, I like to put a pair of balls in front instead of your head if you want, mate. So you can be, you can be a ball. Change my voice. You can be a ball shiner. <laughs> Well, in fact, if you if you yeah. two, if you two brothers walk too closely together, I won't have to superimpose a pair of balls then because it, it, they just two look like two ball sacks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. adult humour, no extra charge. <laughs> oh, last time I came here, I got chased around by a fat bloke who I took the piss out of saying, "Who ate all the pies?" <laughs> And he wasn't happy. What time did you do that in the day? Yeah. Broad daylight. Who wait all the pies? So I'll fucking come in there and kill you. I said, yeah, you will if you can climb the fence, you fat f <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I was I was in the hovercraft museum, but yeah. yeah. I don't know how this connects up to it, this road. Hmm. Houses. These obviously quite new. These houses. They look quite new, yeah. Yeah. So is the whole cafe museum to our right now? That's weird because it's like they've split this off. Yeah, this is brand new. Yeah. And I think I was walking up and down here, and I think all those lorries and shit were parked in there. Yeah, yeah. I think that that guy and the was there. You you wanted to get into the whole craft. <laughs> I've already. No, you can go in there. Probably not. That's where we go up to the end of the up end there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I might have better night night uh, capacity or not. Mm. Oh, this might have been that pissy, um, pissy company with the uh, the lorries. It might have been there. There's people living in those caravans. Look, by the looks of those Range Rovers and uh, Jeeps, <laughs> probably don't want to meet them.
rest of you now. Jesus. It's like, it's like having Jordan around, isn't it? <laughs> this was this was this company that pissed me, I think. The uh the, this is this is the um lorry company with uh, fat boy slim, the uh, pasty eating driver. Yes, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. And they were playing music in there. They were doing music practice, isn't it? Ah. So they have got cameras around this building. I know that. Yeah, there's, there are some cameras around in a few places. In fact, they've got them on the um, Hovercraft Museum. No, they, they are there, though. I mean, they had us on camera a few times at the Hovercraft Museum. Yeah. No, they didn't. They didn't say don't come back either. And if you know, if you're not told not to come back, it's technically you haven't you haven't trespassed. So, you know, all they said was, "Is why did you do that when you could have just paid ten quid and coming in and seen it anyway?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but it's not as fun." <laughs> yeah, it's like plus I saved ten quid, <laughs> and I'm I'm stingy. Top is that right? They probably don't know. They probably don't know who's who. They don't know who's who, do they? I'm going to get my um, sorry, sorry, mate. I'm going to get my Bob Love on because uh, it's getting pretty dark. So we might be able to show you what the Bob Love's like compared to the pocket camera compared to the GoPro camera so you do it no so Um, I, I fancy we, we came in here before, but it didn't look very, didn't look very open. Yeah. No. So, I mean, it'd be interesting yeah. if there are some ways in. But then I didn't go for a walk around it. We, I just went straight for the Hovercraft Museum, yeah. pissed somebody off and had to get out really quick. So, and of course, we're going to have to have lights on in here now with the, with the Explore, so it's going to look pretty bloody obvious through the windows if we get in. Yeah, I don't know. They, we, we should hang on from really, because they're not going to know where to come, are they? Do you want to hang on for him? Are you going to send him a pin? Yeah, okay. Let's go and see where they are then. You can't see anything on the GoPro now. Probably see something on the Bob Lock. It's probably not pointing in the right direction. Tilted to the left a bit. There they are straight. So, don't know where they are so far. Somebody with music in that uh, thing, like there was last time we were playing music or practicing or something. Hmm. Right, hey, took your time.
your um, your backlights on on the yeah, thing. Turn off and so. Oh, it turns itself off, doesn't it? Yes, when I attach it to my hat, I'm like fucking blinding myself. <laughs> you know, you can push the power button once quickly, and it turns the backlight straight off straight away. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. We need A7S for <laughs> Yeah. Bob Love in black and white or A7S in colour. Alright. Needs well, it would be better with a ladder, really, wouldn't it? But I mean, yeah, he didn't bring it. Steve's got his, isn't he? Uh, I know he didn't bring it from the car. Is that car starting? Yeah, yeah. So you do it. It's not going to be easy for most people, though, I don't think. Especially me. You don't. You don't do that sort of shit, there. Yeah. Uh, it's got all stuff behind it, isn't it? I need to be. I need to be a hand. Yeah, Most people are going to find this very hard. No, I'm fine. Most people are going to find this hard, mate. Yeah. But how are they going to do that? Anyone in? Possibilities, mate. Cheers. Secured and all the rest of it. That's for sure. Yeah, man. Slippy up here, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no boards on the windows, but what you've got is metal bars beyond the windows. Oh shit, well you can't get in through those. Yeah, but then we've got all this, like, we've got ladders. Oh, ladders? Oh. Get the ladder. Yeah, get everyone up here. There's a pair of ladders here, folks. Check this out. Oh, there's a window open, look. Oh, that's wood. Yeah. Yeah. Smash windows, any bars? I can see bars. I can see bars. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, there's bars there. There's no bars on windows. It's true, but will they open? Yeah. There's no bars there. Yeah, have a look. Wait there, yeah, folks. Do you, do, you, do you need it? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Alright. You don't know how secure the bloody ladder is, really. Might be, might be knackered. 
there's another possible window open over there as well it's open it's open there you go folks the doors are always open the doors are always open so f the haters that's the way in folks yeah well get up and we'll bring the ladder across because we'll need it yeah bring the ladder up and then we'll we'll reduce its size oh shit is it gonna do that oh Christ shit yeah it's gonna fall if we we're gonna lose it right how are we gonna do this son? Yeah. Can we, hang on, can we slot it down a bit? Slot it down. So maybe to there and we should be able to pull it. Impossible challenge. Righty who? Lesby Avenue. Hello. Okay. It's my imagination, or is, is it like bent? The no, yeah, no, it's bent, but the telescopic out. Ah, right. Hang on. Right on. There we go. Chandelier, yeah, it is a bit. Shangri La. Yeah. Right, so let's check it out now. We're on low brightness of my thing. And what have we got along here? Can't see very much. That's it's just on my head torch. So what's the GoPro like? Ready Anne? Ping. What? Oh, you? Yeah, we don't know who lives in that. Oh my God! Look at this. It's a bar. I think we just. I think we could just be cheeky. If we get kicked out, we get kicked out. We didn't break in. Hmm. Chandeliers. No, quite funky, isn't it? There's a generator there, Hyundai diesel, long run diesel tank. Wow. Right, time for the bobble off to go off. Wow. Look at this. What the? What the hell is this? Wow. Little balcony. I guess you'd have had people barking orders from up there. Hey, bouncy floor. Feels like a. No. Yeah, this is a weird little room, isn't it? Kitchen. It's a kitchen wing. Kitchen, look, folks. So they bring food into the main hall. Wow. Keep this area clean and tidy. Oh yeah, proper, proper bit of kitchen hooding going on.
So this is using this torch now, which is the Throughlight TN36 Limited or whatever. Nice. Yeah, it goes off down here again. Yeah, just a little uh Sorry. And paint's coming off the walls. This is right next to the Hovercraft Museum, this place. If anyone wants to check it out. It does need a bit of effort to uh, get into, but if you've got a ladder, preferably one as light as mine, it's a lot easier than buggering about with heavy ladders. More toilets. Oh, there's the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that rope on the stairs. Look at this. Rope stairs. Wow. Goes upstairs here, boys. Yeah. Goes upstairs with a rope, with a rope instead of a banister. Yes. Tassel. Don't touch me, don't twiddle me tassels. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look, another rope banister. It's like as if it's off a ship or something, isn't it? So, I'm trying to think what this place was, whether it's connected to the airfield or Yeah, that would indicate naval. Kitchen. Navel? You leave my navel out of it. You... No need to bring my navel into this. The yard section on the walls up here. I reckon there's more chance they'll see us to the back of the building from the security hut than from the front. So where is the front? Lost? That's the front that way. So I think so the back is where we, where we were just now. Well, there's oh, more yeah. chance we'll be spotted. Yeah, yeah but that, see that's... Boys flashing down. I think that's Eddie. Where? No. No. There's someone outside. Really? Yeah. Where? I don't know where it's Eddie downstairs. No, it's just oh, it's somebody, it's somebody shining torches around. No, oh. security outside. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Let's just watch him go past. Yeah, okay. Get down from the window. He can't see us. He might be shining the light up, he will. There you go, it's a security guy down there. He's got a torch. Oh, well, he didn't shine up here, that's been nah. positive. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, he's obviously seen my lights, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but he can't. He can't get in you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Might have a key. Well, don't think there's many ways well, in, is there? Ed did say he found another way in. That was the in the big hall, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do we do then? Um, crack on, do. Shit. Is it worth switching the bottom? I'm going to turn mine back on, I think. Right now, folks. We've gone dark. We have, we have fucked it already. <laughs> Nice to see. It's nice to see security actually doing a, doing their job for a change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oops! Watch it. Stuff on the floor you can trip on. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is if we're going to just try and get out. 
I don't think there's going to be a door open to this place because it's going to have a padlock on the front. This is like the projection room and, and that little the viewing thing. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, might as well go here. Oh, so this little balcony you can see from the line. So we might as well have a little look. Why not? Yeah. So they would have been bringing food out, yeah, wouldn't they? You think it's like a food hall? Yeah, because the kitchen is right through those doors, oh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. So, we know we're not on our own. Just one little one thing. But we don't that long as well, don't we? So I don't know if that's a rich shit. So we won't be in any of the I doubt they'll come in. I doubt very much they'll come in. Does it open that door? Does it open? Yeah, I've unlocked it. I've unlocked it. Oh, it's unlocked, is it? Right. What? I'm going upstairs with torches off and have a look at the window. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Security, um, secure, secure room. Look. Look at that. Big metal door. Secure room. Where Eddie's about seven safes. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a radio transmitter or something, is it? Volume, microphone one, microphone two. It's an amplifier. Mmm. Folks, we're we're having fun whilst we can. So, hope you enjoyed this comparison video. If you want to watch the rest of the video, uh, just shot in normal mode where we don't do side by sides. Um, click the link below. Um, as you can see, I think overall the Pocket Two definitely wins for low light. It's got better stabilization because it has an actual gimbal as a, as to opposed to a software or you know GoPro internal gimbal. Um, the other thing that seems to happen is when it's low light, the GoPro becomes fuzzy and uh, produces a lot more artifacts. And once your lights are turned down, you know you can't see anything at all really with the GoPro. Um, whereas you can still make out quite a bit of uh, detail with the Pocket 2 in very low light um, and you can boost it in your post-production editing. So I think realistically there's still a lot of room for me to use the Boblov for um, infrared and low light where you cannot afford to put on a torch. Um, you cannot use the GoPro until you've got your big torches on, that's it. You know, head torch is not really enough for the GoPro. It's got to be a massive torch. And then it starts to look very comparable to the Pocket 2. But the Pocket 2 can look okay with a head torch. So overall, I think Pocket 2 wins for exploration use at night time. Uh, GoPro Hero 10 could be okay for daylight use and where you have no restrictions using a torch. So... Um, we'll do another video comparison. Uh, obviously, there was a real problem because the GoPro was sat on my head at, a, at an angle, so it, it all looks a bit skewed. Now, this is with the uh, stock lens that comes with the GoPro Hero 10, and there is a modification lens, which will be coming soon. And with that on, um, it allows you to basically go any angle you like, and it keeps the horizon level. So I will run these tests again with a future video 
where I'll put them side by side and we can compare the amount of light for, from the Pocket 2 versus the GoPro. Um, I'll probably try a day and night test and uh, we'll show the results to you. I think I know what I'm going to end up still using is going to be the Pocket 2 overall, but if it gets rainy and you want to have a stabilised uh, camera, well, the Pocket 2's got to go back in your pocket because you cannot get the rain on it. And that's where you could pull out the Hero 10 and work into the rain. Uh, oh, by the way, the Hero 10 eats batteries for fun and the Pocket, uh, Pocket 2 really good on batteries. Um, I used probably uh, one and a half batteries with the GoPro whereas I'd only come to 50% of the of the main internal battery of the Pocket 2. So you can see I mean it's I'd, I'd say like for like um, it's two to three times more efficient I'm giving you two to three times more filming on the Pocket 2 as opposed to the GoPro where you'll end up having to stop change batteries which is a bit of a pain to be honest so uh, worth considering